Hello guys and welcome back again to the channel. On today's video, we'll be looking at DSers and I'll be showing you how to actually DS your vocal without using any DSer plugin and this will sound more natural. Even though it might be a bit time consuming, but if you really want your vocal to stand out and sound clean, this is the way to go about it. First, let's quickly go through these three DSers. As you all know, this is the Waves old DSer. They've now got RDSer and the Sibilance but this one still does the job. And this is the DSR2 in Logic Pro. And this one is from Takey version. They've got a paid one, but this version is the free version. So let's quickly go through the S's on this vocal and then I'll show you guys how to do it without none of these plugins. Let's get into the video. When we turn out the lights The two of us alone together so You would never, ever let another touch come between the two of us. As you can hear there, the problem with using a DSR plugin is you find it hard to get it right. If you notice on some S's that are not too loud, this was sufficient, but the louder ones, it actually felt too over compressed, which is the problem with using a DSR. But when you do it naturally, because you can uh, play with the volume yourself, that means you can get it spot on to how you want it. Let's listen to this part, actually. Something's just not right. Something's just, something's just not right. Something's just not right. If you notice, that was just about perfect, which even if we draw it down a bit more, that would still be all right. But somewhere along here, it felt like that was too much. Come between the two. Come between. Come between the two Where it says two, that felt like it actually compressed the vocal a bit too much. So let's look at the other ones. Come between the two of us. 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 So as you can see, this sound okay here now, but when we move it back to the other part, it might not catch the S's as much as. Something's just not right. He actually did a good job. Something's just not right. He did a good job, but you still notice that it could go a bit more. So let's look at the TDS plus. Something's just not right. 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 So here sound about good, but if we push it to the other side. Between the two of us. Snum between the two. If you notice here, it's not catching the S's as much as we would want it to. Let's push it down to see where it catches it better. Between the two of us. Snum between the two of us. Right about here. But now the problem is when it goes to the other side, you notice that it's over compressing it. Something's just not right. He's still doing a good job, but you know, still notice that this is actually sounding compressed. But let's go ahead and show you how to actually go about without using uh, any DSR plugin. So the first thing, if you're in Logic, is to zoom it out completely. As you can see, all this thick blob means those are S's. But if you look here, they're a bit broken. It means the S is not too strong. Even if we zoom it in, let's just listen to this. So what you have to do is just get your marquee tool. Click on it. Once you've selected it, or should I say once you've highlighted it, click now. This is separate. You can go ahead and pull it down here how much you want. Usually four and five is just about fine. But if it's too thick, then you can pull it down up to seven. You can also go ahead and get here. As 
As you can see, we've turned this down to about seven. So let's actually hear just those two places. If you notice, there's another S here, which let's quickly zoom it out and get rid of that as well. There it is. Let's leave that about six. Let's have a listen. So you can also go ahead and pull them back down by about six, seven, or even eight dB, depending on how much thick uh, and loud the S's are. Let's draw this one down a bit more. So as you can see, this is actually sounding a lot more natural. Let's bring this down by a dB. And the good thing with doing this is, even if you go ahead now and put a deesser, because you've now trimmed them via how loud they sound, it will actually help the deesser also not overwork. But if we go ahead and actually leave it how it was originally, you notice that the compressors were hitting about 9 or 8 dB compression as opposed to just doing 4 dB compression now. So even if you decide to not use the DS at all, all you have to do is maybe turn this down a bit more and turn the DS off. Say another two or three db down the reason is because s's and she's sounds sharper to the ears because how piercing they sound that's why the level need to be very lower as opposed to other uh, sounds to actually sound like they're on the same level so this is basically you cutting them out and pulling the level down drastically by up to 7 db some you can even go 10 db depending on how sharp and loud it is on the original recording so this is a way to actually DS your vocal and make it sound a lot more natural to the point that even if you decide to also add a DSer to help it, it will still sound more natural compared to when you just slam a DSer on the real sound with no work whatsoever like this. So I hope this is helpful guys. Go ahead and like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye now.